Also tonight, a Rochester father will spend up to 11 years in prison for the death of his one-year-old daughter who ingested a fatal mix of cocaine and fentanyl. Dylan Brito learning his sentence today and spoke in court. 32-year-old Dylan Brito speaking in court ahead of his sentencing Thursday, telling the judge the overdose death of his 13-month-old daughter was an accident. You gotta be a sick person to wanna intentionally harm your child, and I'm not that person. Assistant District Attorney Kevin Sunderland says the baby's death was not an accident. He's the reason why she died. His choices to consume fentanyl when he's supposed to be watching his daughter, his choice to leave those wrappers there, his choice to not tell anyone about it. Even after he saw that wrapper in her mouth, he chose not to tell the 25 people that are trying to save her life. He made that choice. The little girl died in January after ingesting a fatal mixture of cocaine and fentanyl Brito left out in his apartment on Kelly Street. He pleaded guilty to second degree manslaughter. His public defender saying Brito took responsibility for his actions and is remorseful. This case is a testament to how the plague of opioid addiction harms more than just the user. It's important to recognize that on January 30th, 2024, Dylan Brito woke up inside of a nightmare that he will never escape from. The judge sentencing Brito to five and a half to 11 years in prison, saying he hopes he changes so, his behavior. It cannot be another substance that dictate how you move in this life. Only you can make that determination. I hope you embrace that truth. Um, otherwise, you're living a lie. And the lie is that I can't control my behavior. I can't control my actions. I have a sickness. You don't want to walk with that. Because look at the devastation. Brito also pleaded guilty to tampering with evidence. Prosecutors say he tried to hide the drugs after his daughter ingested them.